Hey, Vinyl Community. Made a trip to the record store today on my way home from another errand. Popped in, picked up a couple of things that I thought I would share with everybody. Uh, the first thing of note is got a stereo copy of The Beatles Story, which I've got two other copies of this on vinyl. One is an original mono pressing, and then I've got another one. It is, a, I think, like an 80s pressing. It's on the Purple Capital label. I found this one actually on the Apple Records label, uh, which is very cool. have not seen this one on Apple. So anytime I see any of these, no matter what pressing it is, whether it's Rainbow, whether it's the Orange Capital label or the Apple or whatever it might be, I'm always going to grab them, provided they're not too expensive. This one was 12 bucks. So not too bad. I mean, this is an album. It's a documentary album. There's some Beatles music on here, but not a complete song. Uh, it's usually just kind of in between the documentary. There's narration, narration. There's some interviews with fans, some interviews with the Beatles. It's okay. It's a little time capsule item. It's interesting to listen to. It's not something you're going to go back to over and over, but it's a cool little novelty item to have if you're a Beatles fan. And I'm glad I got an earlier stereo pressing than the one that I had before. Uh, the next one I got, and this is, this was only a dollar. And this was, um, obviously this is School's Out by Alice Cooper, but this is the very first Alice Cooper I own on vinyl. Can you believe it? Um, the vinyl itself is really uh, beat up, but I don't care. Um, I still think it's cool. It's good to have it on my collection. It's a placeholder until I find a cleaner copy, I guess. But anyway, it's a cool album to have. If it's your first Alice Cooper album, I would say uh, that's probably not a bad place to start. Um, oh. The next thing that I got, and you know, I've seen this in the dollar bins before, and I only know two songs off it, but I feel like everybody has this as part of their collection. I don't know why it's took, taken me so long to get around to buying it, but I found a very clean copy of it, and I thought, well, it's a dollar, what does it matter? But uh, the knack. Uh, obviously, My Sharona is on here. The other song I was familiar with was Good Girls Don't. But I picked it up. I mean, it's, I don't know, just kind of a cool thing to have as part of the collection. It's sort of a late 70s, I don't want to call it novelty album, but that hit was all over the radio back then. And it's, you know, the whole homage to the Beatles thing there, I think, is... I don't know. I really, I, it was definitely an impulse buy. I saw it. They have the dollar racks right by the register and I'm standing there like, okay, am I done? Am I done? I have spent as much as I want to spend, but I still end up looking around like, is there anything else? Anything? And I saw that and I'm like, all right, all right, I'll get it. It's a decent looking copy. So next thing I got is Sugar Loaf. And this has got the song Green-Eyed Lady on it, which I believe this album is from 1970. Love that song. It's kind of a progressive, uh, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. It's just kind of got a do, 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 do. I, I heard this all over the radio growing up, and I don't know. I think it's very cool. You almost have like the CCR back cover there, and it's a gatefold. Uh, but I don't know. I've never heard anything else off this album. It's got Train Kept a Rolling on it. Bach, Doors Man, Bach, B-A-C-H. Chest Fever, which I'm guessing might be the cover of the band song from their music from Big Pink album. West of Tomorrow, Gold and the Blues, Things Gonna Change Some. So I have no idea if the rest of this album is good or bad, but... I'm happy just to have Green Eyed Lady on vinyl. I know I will definitely listen to that. I love that track. And then the last thing I got was another videotape. Uh, the Doors live at the Hollywood Bowl. I am building my Doors VHS collection. I've actually got three 
Doors videos on VHS now. Don't know why. I've got it on DVD already as part of a different package, but picked it up anyway. It was two bucks. Why not? You know? So anyway, that's what I picked up shopping today. Just thought I would share it with you. Hope you're having a great weekend and take care.